What's going on, everybody? Uh, Six Scale Mafia here with El Professor O for episode five of Review. What's going on, Mario? Hey, good morning, brother. Yo, I, I, I say it all the time, man. That freaking beat. <laughs> I can't beat. get enough of man. The intro is hella sick, beats. man. Right. Yeah, man, so, no, doing pretty good, man. I'm excited to uh, to do uh, you know three short troopers here, man. This is gonna be fun. I know, right? So we were gonna do. The Short Trooper, as you guys know, we've been going down the Rogue One line. And through everybody's responses last week, uh, we're thinking, you know what? Let's do all three Short Troopers. So that's going to be pretty fun. I figured, well, okay, we have three Short Troopers. We might as well have three hosts. So <laughs> my good friend Shane, hey. what is up, my friend? Up, Weasels, figures. How you doing, brother? Not bad, man. Kind of getting ready for the day so this would be a perfect way to start it hell yeah yep. man and we know we got three people we got three short troopers man it's perfect it's perfect so uh, uh before we get into it let me go ahead and just address we have xander here he says oh good choice to pose hell yeah what's up my friend uh simon says looking forward to this one i suck at posting and i need help with my <laughs> short trooper well we're we're all okay. we're, we're we're i don't know we'll see i don't know how good we are either but there's three of us so i'm sure I'm sure we can help. Uh, primetime reviews. Hey guys, what's up? Tukathri's in the house. What's up, gentlemen? Young Obi. Uh, hello there. Have not picked up Short Trooper, but that could change very soon. Indeed. Ooh. Andy H. Hello, gentlemen. Chilling with a glass of, I can't read, wine? Vino. Vino. Ga a glass of vino and looking forward to some awesome poses. Hell yeah. And Andre. Here we go. Diablo Fett in the house as well. Happy Sunday, fun day, my friends and fellow addicts. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. KG Smith, what's up, peeps? Knights of Ren, also in the house. What's up, Fig Fate? Universal Key. Um, Fobs Figs, Fabio, what's up, my friend? And uh, not, yeah, we do have Knights of Ren already, yes, sir. But I got some 3.75-inch Sword Troopers, but no hot toys. Well, maybe that'll change, my friend. Maybe that'll change. Um, yeah, man. Hell yeah. yeah. Hopefully you can uh, get yourself a short trooper out there, especially right yeah. now while I re retail. <laughs> so I know. Yeah. And speaking of retail, I mean, think of those prices. So we've got it all tagged up for you guys on the bottom ticker, but I'm going to, I'm going to head, I'm going to let Mario take control of this. one. he's got the box of the original short trooper right mm -hmm. here. What can you tell us about it, brother? So man, first of all, trip out that the original short trooper was actually or what was it 205 back in the day man yeah. i mean and back in the day it was only 2017 that wasn't really that long ago so it's 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 mind-blowing how this thing sold out and it just suddenly skyrocketed man i mean basically along with the rest of the rug one line it's, it's insane but <clears throat> but yeah here's a quick look at the box it's a similar design that all the rogue one uh figures have kept um you've got it's the same star wars design as well your typical black and gray with the pic with the picture of the figure on the side We've got the cigar band on the bottom, and um, <laughs> yeah. Let me bring you up, pretty, actually. Let me bring pretty, you up. Basic, Let me bring you up, pretty brother. Pretty basic, pretty basic, pretty simple. You know, cigar band going all the way across. Here's the back of the box. You know, everything looking pretty clean. Uh, crack this guy open, and we've got <clears throat> the uh, the art card here, which is really really nice. I dig this. So the original short trooper here, and bust that open, and you got the clamshell with all the accessories, with only being four extra sets of hands. And a rifle, <laughs> and that's it. The and the base, um, actually, actually, it comes with this. Um, like most of the Rogue One figures, come with this little uh, card if you guys wanted to use this on your base. I love you that. Know? I don't, I don't remember. Anthony, does the newer ones come with this as well? Or? Yeah. So, so the school, the the, okay. the 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 um, the Shore Trooper Squad Leader, the recent re recently released Rogue One, um, Squad Leader does indeed come with the face card for the for the stand okay cool now that's, the, the, it's the nice grunt to see that not, kind of consistency yeah the grunt right. does not because it's <clears throat> it's mandalorian and and i don't know yet and actually shane may i ask do you have um have you received your um uh tank commander yet no okay not yet let's do side okay, so okay i don't think company. mario you don't have them either as well right yeah, no, I'm getting them from an LCS. So okay, yeah. because I'm I'm pretty sure that that trooper will also have the, the card because he's Rogue One, right? Yeah, so I believe I guess we can look at the photos. But... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I believe mm -hmm. all the recent releases have actually come with it from Krennic, 
um, down to Mario's got all the good shit. Thanks, Diablo Fett. Yeah, I've been collecting <laughs> for a while, bro. You know, so so yeah. Um, Knights of Ren, to tell the truth, I'm not a big fan of the design, but I prefer the Death Troop. I feel you, man. Um, Knights of Ren also says I got that Rogue One Vader coming. I'm going to display the card on the base for sure. Dude, I need that Vader, man. I mean, <clears throat> that's one of, I know, one listen, of the original. Death Shane Troopers. had that Vader for months, and he kept asking me if I wanted it. And I was like, no, no, no. And then he sold it. And I was like, you still got that Vader? <laughs> I had it in the buy sell trade for like 300 or 275 or something like that. Something. I can't remember what I actually sold it for. It was cheap. Yeah. Yeah. He did. He it's let it go. It's funny how some of those things, because Anakin was like that too. I knew someone that was selling the dark side Anakin and couldn't get rid of it for shit, bro. And then once it sold out, then. You know, yeah. what happened happened. That's how it goes, bro. It sucks. But yeah. Takathri earlier mentioned that uh, he had, he finally got a figure in the short trooper squad leader, man. That's cool, dude. You know, that's I, I think if you don't want to go back and get the original one, that's that's fine. There's there's no there's nothing wrong with that, man. Hey. Night of Ren says they can't freaking wait. Night of Ren also says I uh, should be here next week. That's awesome, bro. Hell yeah, dude. We're all excited for you, man. You know, when anybody gets something new, man, it's always exciting. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. And, and I know, Shane, you 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 missed out on the original Short Trooper yeah. as well. All right. So yeah. um, so what do you, got, what do you got right there? Do you have do you have two of them or what's 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 going on with yours? Well, I got the squad leader grunt and then kind of what I'm making. Uh, he's going to be just something else. Oh, so, so, you, so you made guy. that. Well. Pretty much made the belt and the boots and kit bash the rest of them. He's pretty well, much a uh, when you say you take a closer look the at boot. these poses too. What what do you what do you mean you made them? Uh well I took like some stormtrooper shin guards and then put leather straps around it and then I put uh this <laughs> fan belt that I found and I painted it and then <laughs> painted the boots up, weathered them up, made them look like the regular armor. So you're actually like crafting some stuff on here. Yeah. 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 The belt. I made the belt. It's kind of. Are we able to see a closer view? If you can tell, those are the Mando side plates. (laughs) And I just Velcro on with Velcro. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to make a short trooper. Hell yeah. Uh, Because I know those who who may not know that you you often kind of create figures on your own. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of like what I like doing. <laughs> Hell yeah! Well, no, and it, so that's cool, man. So the 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 two on the right are um, they're hot toys, but they're both. Did you say they were grunts? I, I, I oh no, you got a grunt right there. Oh, so you do have a grunt and then a short trooper or a, a and squad then leader. A, yeah, um, what you call it? Squad leader. Yeah. All right, nice. that's awesome, dude. Hell yeah! So you'll end up probably just trying to create. Uh, a captain basically right just gonna paint paint one up and i'm just gonna well i'm getting two more grunts just so i have two grunts and then i'm gonna turn one of those grunts into a captain since i missed out and it's cheaper to to Mm. just repaint a grunt to look like a captain yeah Yeah. (laughs) you know that's kind of why we we decided to show off all of the troopers because we can really see the difference i mean if you were to well i mean i have mine kind of rotating right now but if i don't and we look at our 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 actual Rogue One, right? As we all it's know, beautiful. Um, I love that one. Beautiful figure, right? But when you look at the difference between the, um, now that's not the squad leader. This is just the Mandalorian grunt. But I mean, they're basically I, the same, right? And so if you paint, it, yep, you can paint that <laughs> grunt. And if you can get the colors to work, right? Yeah. Then that grunt will look exactly like Captain. It's pretty much the same exact figure, just a different paint job. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So I feel like I probably shouldn't have moved these. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just going to put them on here some weird way, and we'll see if they, they don't fall. I like your poses, too. Thank you. Yeah, I was trying to have a little bit of, I mean, you know, here's the thing. Like, And I know some people have mentioned as well, like troopers are kind of interesting to to pose right because they're not like superheroes right you're not a spider-man you're not an iron man right um so Mm -hmm. i try to get them in more just standard almost you know military 
stances and just maybe maybe some of them are aiming their gun but some kind of motion uh like this this the rank determines oh, oh. Ooh, there they go no yeah there they go well i'll grab them so in the meantime there's the grunt and uh <laughs> yeah so <laughs> so anyway yeah so mario though i'll just say that so he did come out in 2017 right the original the original one did come out, yeah, in 2017, and the other two just came out recently last year in 2022, or 2022, 21? Hang on. Did I write it down I, wrong? 21? Hang on. I think it was 21. I could be wrong. Right at the end of the year, or? Yeah, 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 yeah. March. What the hell? <laughs> We've got the wrong info for the release date for the new ones, man. Oh, no. Oh, screwed up. You hate to see it. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Speaking of which, there goes my limp-ass mic. Hang on a second. I know how that works. <laughs> I guess my mind keeps falling, guys. Uh, oh, man. this is how we do. Yeah, technical difficult, don't these y'all? Um, yeah, I think it. I actually just unboxed this original uh, short trooper right now, the the captain. So it needs to go mm -hmm. into display. The other two I pretty much had pre posed already. Um, so yeah, just here's the grunt. I was just kind of working on that one, you know with the rifle Ooh. up in the air the standard one or actually the um what was it the squad the squad leader and um yeah the cat the uh the captain is just basically straight up and down straight out the box <laughs> so i need to <laughs> right yeah i need to work on that i need it's, to work hell on yeah. that yeah, original pose uh, uh one right. six fix man is that marco or gg or both i'm not sure it's usually marco so says you guys are making me want to buy more short troopers <clears throat> they look good in a trio that's definitely marco because you know gg ain't gonna say something like that man <laughs> so... <laughs> hell yeah oh that's uh, great. Cothry says uh lately hot toys hands have been very stiff and difficult to place the weapons in um uh, how are the hands on are these short troopers um these ones that's aren't a good too question. bad these, these ones aren't too bad honestly yeah exactly they're yeah. they're they're fairly pliable um what i've had issues oh, with yeah. lately are the damn wrist pegs um I had a tragedy with the um what was it, with the Tuscan Raider. I took it out the box and just moving the moving the hand around and I tried to remove the hand and the freaking wrist peg snapped. Oh. Like, what the hell? Yeah, so that uh, was, even that with was, Chur, that you had some problems memory. last week. Yeah. I mean it's an older figure, you know, so yeah. I can, I'll I'll give that one a pass. Right. Um but <clears throat> the ones that are actually that have the most difficulty are the clones. Those guys are stiff. Those 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 hands are incredibly stiff um however these new ones are they're, they're great they're they're fairly pliable they're not as stiff as the clones but and yeah i think they do the job well so but any any of you guys have any other, other issues with the uh with well, the hands being too stiff or anything or I'll, I'll say when i when i recently do the i don't know what's going on with my mic do you guys see this thing just performance dropping? It's, performance issues bro. performance yeah, issues yeah we're having anxiety here um <laughs> so <laughs> When oh, I when man. I recently got the Shore Trooper <clears throat> Grunt, I unboxed it, and some of you in the chat may have watched me unbox it live on Instagram. And for the life of me, I could not get his right hand to stay in the the peg. Wouldn't I could I couldn't do it. I was getting pissed. I'm like, what the hell? It's brand new. I just got it. And like, you know what I mean? It it, the, the, it came off for a minute, and I was like, when I tried to put the 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 gun in his hand, and then I spent like ten minutes trying to jam it in um otherwise it's been okay <laughs> but like yeah i don't know i think it was just stiff i don't know the, the peg not the hand itself but the peg pro i was having a problem i noticed on a couple of them i don't know if it's these ones but the peg hole wasn't directly or the hole in the hand wasn't centered and it was off a bit and i had a hard time thinking that i was trying to put it in the middle but the but the hole was off so that could have been an issue too. I want to look at that. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't even think about. It. I didn't even like look. Look. Um, again, he did. Um, whatever. I'll pick it up. So, uh, Young always says after having seen Desi's videos, there might be a lot more bases staying in the boxes. Yeah, man, Desi, man, shout out, man, Metamorphic Custom. Uh, he's making some really cool display bases, man. Uh, JC says, great time of day to have the stream. Hell yeah, appreciate. Uh, Diablos, no, man down, man down. Yeah, again, I just dropped it I'm out again. 
Uh, battle damage only makes them look more authentic, kids. Sorry, I'm reaching, bro. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, he says uh, GG would never. He's laughing on that one. So, uh, yeah, man, let me, let me, Mario, go ahead and uh, what, what are you trying to, you doing a little pose right now with the rifle or? I think you're muted, brother. I can't hear you. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, and no, I'm just trying to work on a post. Just, you know, something simple, something basic. Okay. For right now. You know, I got to pick up my trooper. Uh, Andy H says I have to pick up another grunt while they're really cheap and repaint it. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, that's I, like Shane. Absolutely. Like, that's what you're mm -hmm. doing, right? Yep. <clears throat> I mean, I'll eventually get the original one because I just, I'm that way. But <clears throat> yeah. for now, paint up a grunt and it, you wouldn't know the difference on someone's shelf. You know, because uh, even if you go to like Toy Anxiety, they have sometimes the the base, which I picked up two of them, just for that reason, because of the Rogue One bases, and they have mm -hmm. the the picture on there and that little tiny, whatever that little base fronty thing is in the front there that goes under the nameplate. Yeah. So I picked up a couple of those, so I can really, really give the impression that it's a captain. Yeah, so you can basically get all the parts that are, oh, yeah. are out there, right? You know, like just, um, like you said, from Toy Anxiety or Monkey Depot, right? So Yeah, Monkey Depot is another one. They've been, I haven't, people have been buying a lot from there because I haven't been able to find Jack on there lately. <laughs> really? But I know, uh, it's tough. Unless you want a clone trooper helmet. Oh, they got lots of those. You got tons of those? Oh, well, yeah, I mean, because those <clears throat> deluxes came with like three helmets. And then Rex, yeah. if you got Rex, he got the, what is it, the 330, 332nd? Yeah, that uh, too. I think yeah. so. Okay, so this has um, one full rotation, and they haven't fallen. Hey, hey success! I, I, I let's see. Yeah, if it falls one more damn time, like usually, you know, right. on here, I'll I'll bust out the display stands, but because I had three, I was like, you know, I think I can get them all posed just right. Uh, yeah. So let me go ahead and take a things. look here, guys, through the chat with everybody to catch up. Knights of Ren says, my Fett's two-pack hands were stiff. Mm. Uh, Brandon says, you know, Mando, he uh, took out a shore trooper squad leader with his original arm plate before he got the Beskar. Is is that what he did? Is that what that plate was? Which one? The, the, the hand plate, actually, isn't it? it? It actually is. If you look at his... Um... The hand yeah. guard, although it doesn't, none of these actually have that same marking because isn't it like an arrow or yeah, something like that um, that goes over the hand? What did that come from? Because none of these troopers have it if you if you look at it. Yeah, because the Death Watch, I believe, have it. <clears throat> Boba Fett's got it. I've seen that somewhere. No, I yeah. can't think of where I've seen it. I think so. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Knights of Ren says, which one is your guys' favorite out of the three you oh, have? All three. Well. It's the one that I don't have is my, is my favorite. <laughs> yeah. There's there's something special about having the original, but and I, I think have that's all of them. I think the squad leader is my favorite. It's that comma. It is. It is, and it's wired. So... You can give it that that kind of flow. You know what I mean, right? Yeah, I don't think I, I don't think I actually have a favorite. I mean, they're all unique in their own way. I mean, and, but like you mentioned, the um, the fact of having the captain in the collection, it just feels like an, an accomplishment. I mean, right. especially if you get them like uh, after on the aftermarket. But if you had them even beforehand, it's something you know you've got something special in the collection. You know, so oh, yeah. I can understand why that would be somebody's favorite, but. But yeah, I can totally see your reasoning behind the uh, behind the captain. It does look really, really good, and the the comma does add some extra, you know, some extra um, yeah. eye candy, I guess. So <laughs> yeah, it's great. It's that clone clone <clears throat> arc trooper look, kind of, you know. Yeah, right. Yeah, I like that. Now, see, Knights of Ren. He he was also watching my Instagram. <clears throat> he said, "Yeah, that hand peg hated you." Uh, <laughs> and then same with Fig Fate. <laughs> Uh, he's wondering, have I had any other issues with the one wrist since my Instagram live? I remember it kept falling off. Uh, no, nothing. So I think the problem was I was just having a hard time fastening it. Mm. You know, once I once I was able to get the peg into it. And, and well, I think what the problem was is because he has the undershirt, right? 
So the undershirt was pushing a little bit closer to the wrist, and then you have the the the, the gauntlet, right? So I had to take the gauntlet off and push his uh his suit further down to his elbow, and then slide the gauntlet back on. So I had this extra clearance to right. to get the peg in. Uh, so that was yeah. But other than that, I haven't had any issues. Uh, Sith scale separatist. He's always the tongue twister <laughs> name. I love it though. But he says, "Hey guys, what's up, my friend? What's up, um, Fat Batman? Hey fellas, any advice on the Jedi robes? This might be a Shane question. Recently, I got some Grails, and I've heard some of them stain. Anything I can do to prevent that, or just go robeless? Man, that's tough because I, I hate to say wash th- those things. That wouldn't wash. They just th- that material just doesn't feel like something I would want to throw in a wash. You know, cleaner, or even if you did it in soapy, whatever. I don't know. That's a tough one. I haven't had mine stain, although the only one I keep it on is Anakin. Well, I got it on Obi Wan too, and they haven't stained their outfit yet. Yet, I don't know. So, all right, because you have all the all the robes, right? I got well, I got Qui Gon, Obi Wan, Anakin. Is that it? Anymore? Qui Gon, Obi Wan, Anakin, um, Luke. Luke's another one. Jedi Luke. Oh, he's on black. He's on a black outfit. Mm-hmm. So I, I haven't seen that one stain, but I don't keep it close to their neck either. So, <clears throat> so it doesn't do that. So I don't on the sculpt or whatever. What about Dooku with the cape? Do you think that's something to consider as well? I mean, it is, it is a black outfit as well. I mean, you do kind of have the bare hands that it will. Yeah, that I would worry more. On, close to the cape. Yeah, I'd worry more about the neck because it does rest on the neck. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I've had that actually with my Terminators right now, but but you've had Shane, you've had your 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 Jedi's for for forever, right? And and yeah. so you haven't had any issues with staining or anything, right? No, yeah, no, no. I think so. And Obi Wan's the one with the light outfit too. So yeah, I haven't had anything on the on the outfit itself. Mm. And like I said, I keep it away from the neck anyway. So okay. Um, Andreas is wondering what are short trooper prices now? Best place to buy for a deal. Andres, are you referring to the original Shore Trooper? Because, I mean, he's... I've got my eye on one right now that's going for like five twenty-five. Yeah, I was going to say between five and 600 is what he's kind of floating around at. Yeah. Yeah, Nigerian says that the uh, the hand plates on the pre-Beskar uh, shoulder plate. Hmm, okay. Just get Mafia thoughts on the three zero Hulkbuster. <laughs> Oh, oh I think have you seen it yet? Um, I'm I am I am not the person to ask. How about you, Shane? You you just said it's nice, so you have some reference there. Yeah, I I, I don't have it. I'm not in hand, but it looks nice, and the things that it can do, the posability of it for two forty nine, mm-hmm. I think it is. It's I I'm thinking about it, and then to get the forty three that they're doing is long along with it. To go with my yeah, I, saw, and my I saw that at uh, SDCC this past year, and um. In in one of the I think it was the three zero three zero display and it looked pretty good. It's um, it's crazy. It's a killer deal, man, for what you're getting. But I was yeah. I mean, the alternative is what like a twelve thirteen hundred dollar. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, the collectors and, in the house. What's up? Sorry, I just want to see. Good, so bro. what the fuck? I just add up <clears throat> what I owe on hot toys and statues, and I'm screwed. <laughs> you're not the only one, brother. <laughs> right. Uh, but I'm sorry, you're Shane. I cut you one. off, man. Were you saying something, Shane? I'm sorry. Oh no, I was saying yeah. That's uh, that's an issue. <laughs> yeah, yeah, adding no, up it, everything, getting that little report from uh, Sideshow and everything. Uh, either on pre-order or my recent orders. I'm like, oh god. Yeah, that it's hurts. a it's a t- yeah. It's hard to juggle. It's hard to juggle, man. Um, <clears> my son got the like, grunt, and I grabbed the captain. We might have an issue when he's older and moves out. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, Andres, Andres was actually one of the best place to buy new short troopers. You guys are selling me; they look so good. Well, listen, um, Sideshow of course has them in stock. Um, I will say Toys Wonderland has them really cheap right now. Really cheap. Um, I'm not but here what, to endorse does them. The shipping kind of offset that. A little it's bit, not bad, it bro. Still... I've I, I got I got my troopers <laughs> from them, and it was still cheaper. I just don't remember the exact number. Mm. Um, but they're like $160 right now. So I was like, I got, I got to do it. 
So, yeah. um, that's what if I'm not, doing, you know, um, sideshow, of course. Sorry, Shane. Oh, so that's what I would go to get more. Uh, and I don't, I don't endorse any of the whatevers, but you know, if you want them, that's go to the cheapest place, man. I mean, yeah. <laughs> well, because I'm, I too, am thinking about getting maybe two more grunts. Mm. I figured, you yeah. know, okay, well, because I'd have three grunts and I'd have a captain and a squad leader. And I think that right. would, that would work as a squad. Um, mm. and mm-hmm. it would look damn cool, man. <laughs> you know, so I, I was like, well, I would. You can't go wrong, I don't think, with these getting a squad looking thing, you know, like they're patrolling the jungle or whatever, you know, something yeah. like that would look dope. Yeah, exactly. Uh, single songwriter says, Hello, collectors. Remember to hit that like button. Appreciate it, my friend. We got 40 people in here. If you guys hit that like, subscribe if you haven't already. And Mario as well, I know you have just recently started your own youtube channel i don't know if the yeah. regulars who tune in know this but um yeah. mm-hmm. go check out mario's channel <clears throat> asap go he's working on out. some new things it's gonna be great right buddy yeah man there's some stuff in the works uh, and i mean like i said first things first is his collection tour hope to have it up by tomorrow or at least in its current state and then i'm gonna get to work right away on these modji cases within the next couple of days and then Stack that up full with with the entire Star Wars collection, and then you guys will see what's really going on. That's going to be hell yeah, a fun one. Oh, oh, hey, it's, 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 I got you, I got you, I got Lael right here for you. Come on, there we go. <laughs> Every time, amazing. <laughs> Every time, I gotta That's do it. Awesome. How, you, how are you doing today? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Awesome, oh, thanks. Got to do it. Yeah, bud. I'm telling you, man, they're pretty cool. Uh, Lame Kramer, what's up, my friend? Uh, how you oh, doing? We're, we're, we're going to get him to buy something man. tonight if he doesn't already have these. I oh, mean, yeah. every time, you know, we're always enabling Lane, man. You got to love it. Always enabling Lane. He says, I see some mega talented posers. Oh, what a guy. Hell yeah. We uh, we do what we do, man. We love, we love what we love, right? Uh, can one of the mods link Mario's channel in the chat? They absolutely can if single songwriter would not mind please let me know if not i'll do it i'm in an awkward spot i'm gonna tell you guys right now it's really weird when we do these because i'm further back i have a wireless mouse i can't really reach my keyboard <laughs> it's all yeah. kind of crazy but uh you know we have to make sacrifices right absolutely so you got some poses over there then mario yeah um yeah yeah something simple something basic i mean here's the uh Here's a look at the the shore trooper, the, the the original captain. Just uh, just just have him with his arm rested, or, or I'm sorry, with his rifle rested over his shoulder. Oh, you know, just like, I like that. that. Just basic, just basic, just something simple. You know, somebody since the other two, I pull. I tend to post a lot of my troopers like this. Um, I'm getting feedback here with um with the rifle basically pointed at you up like in a in a, some sort of um shooting stance or 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 like this you know these are like the same poses i usually keep but something like something like this with the um with the arm rested over or with the sh- weapon rested over his shoulder it's um i kind of like that you know yeah like put him in a walking stance or something like that as well i could possibly do that right. but but yeah man you know just having I, fun I, with I, it. Just... I did that with my cody actually um mm-hmm. uh, because I know Cody's got like a really big rifle and I had it like kind of kicked back, like where it's, yeah, you know, yeah. relaxed. And then I had his pistol in the other hand and uh, just that kind of, that's what you need to do with troopers in my opinion. Right. I mean, unless you're using mm-hmm. a dynamic stand and they're, 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 they're ones that can fly, you know, right. j- you know, any jump jet packs, whatever's um, and you're kind of, I wouldn't say you're limited in, in your posing ability, but I think you have to factor in that, these are troopers in general are the military. Oh, oh nice. well, yeah, new sub, what do we got going on here, Thanks, Mario? Brother. Let me, let me solo. Oh, right on. Yeah. Not a Ren. New sub. Thanks brother. Hell yeah. Not, yeah. Everybody. Okay. Appreciate single support, songwriter pop, pop the link in the chat. So let me, you guys see this. It's in the chat. Go subscribe to Mario's okay. channel <clears> yeah, right now. You, man. I'll give you That's guys, you we'll, we'll pull what Lale did. I'll give you guys 20 seconds of silence. Go ahead and click that link. <laughs> Everybody here. We got 40. Let's, you know what? Actually, what are you at, brother? 
Let me see. Let me see. I'm going to pull you up right now. 186 subscribers. We got 43 people in here. Can we get Mario to 200 subscribers right now? Oh, yeah. 20 seconds. 20, 20 seconds, seconds of silence. silence. You know, hold everybody hold go hold ahead hold and click his. Let's see if we can get him to 200. All right, I'll bring us back in. Back in. What are we at? <laughs> We're at 191, you know. Hell right yeah. Around the corner. Just nine That's more. It's cool. Close. It's cool. I'm but sure look, everybody I, here is probably subbed. Yeah, I really appreciate yeah. everyone for the support, man. And I would suspect, you know, not too many here aren't already subscribed. Subscribe. 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 <laughs> you damn subscribe. Uh, but, yeah, I just truly appreciate everyone, man. Uh, Knight of Ren says he thinks the captain is a favorite. You know, the blue is so clean. Yeah, you know what? It's also the um, it's also if you guys look, there's also a little yellow marking on his left arm over over the yeah. gauntlet as well. You know, so yeah, man, it's nice to see those little stripes on this thing. Hell yeah! Uh, real quick, S Beam in the house. What's up, my friend? How you doing? What's up, brother? This afternoon. Uh, Andre's wondering, would Shane mind showing off his custom Clone Wars Obi? At some point in the stream, you know, actually, Shane, go ahead right now. He's got him right here. <laughs> right there. Shane's gonna take over. <laughs> oh no! No, I'm I'm doing a. He had a um just a one of those bodies, just a regular body, and his joints were showing like the skin color. And since mm -hmm. he's got a body suit, so I ordered a new body for him. So, <laughs> so it's just a a trooper body. So, that was yeah, great because you showed me that earlier, so I laughed at that comment. I was like, "Oh, he's got it right there in the bag." So yeah, hell yeah, yeah. Knights around two hundred. Let's get it. Yeah, guys, again, go check out Mario's channel. Let's get him to two hundred probably by the end of the stream if we can. That'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. Eight more. Uh, eight more. Eight more. Oh, okay, cool. One ninety two. Awesome, dude. Wish I could sub twice. H Green <laughs> subbed the other day. You actually can. Sean Green, I subbed already. The collector, I'm in universal key subbed yesterday yeah trip yeah. got it the collector hit this notification bell too hell yeah andrea says it, been subbed good vibes awesome dude oh, yeah. absolutely guys uh riley reviews what's up my friend he says hope you enjoyed disney bro i went last month for my birthday oh hell yeah riley yeah are you local to socal bro i'm just curious um but yeah you know let me address this real quick i asked i asked the audience the other night whether or not they wanted me to to like go live or post some um post some footage i did capture footage but the fact that yesterday's trip was more of a family day i kind of had to you know put that aside so what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna go and um book a solo trip for myself and then go in there go in there hard get a bunch of footage for everybody go live and all that fun stuff man so hopefully within the next week or so i'll take care of that hell yeah well and yeah i mean you and you go there a lot so if it was family time yeah. that's totally yeah. you know was spend time with your family yeah, that's what we did every year because I was I was from Torrance, so. Uh, oh, nice. Yeah, oh, cool. yeah. Born and raised St. John's Hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Dope, Moved out bro. to Florida. I was nineteen, though. <laughs> oh, right on, right on, right on. Yeah, yeah. Nice. So called native. Oh, oh yeah. shit! Kobe is in bits. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Oh man, yeah, it's great, man. Community support is is very welcome. I mean, Lane Kramer says, "Yeah, I subbed the first day." Mario set his channel up. Diablo Fett just subscribed, brother. CT603 just subscribed as well. Thanks, brother. Everybody, thank you so much. I know whatever it is that you're going to be doing is going to be awesome. You're at 194. 194. Yeah. Look at that. 194. Six more. Six Big more waiting. subs, and he is 200, which is great. Um, uh, Riley says the Rise of the Resistance ride goes crazy. Yeah, man. I went on again last night dude and that ride is so freaking fun even though regardless that it's set in the sequel trilogy era just considering the technology that's in that ride and how much they put into it it's it's freaking amazing right 
I mean, have you checked it out yet, Shane? Have you been there? I've been no, no, I haven't. Shit, I've been back to California since God forever. Um, mm-hmm. But no, I want the Disney's got that. Uh, ah, I can't remember the name of the show, but it's it's all about Galaxy's Edge and how they blend yeah. the Disney and all that stuff. It's super cool. Yeah, to watch. I thought that was super awesome. Hell yeah. <laughs> um, uh, Rodolfo Elfido, a oh, professor in a good place to reach a thousand subs. Congrats. I hope you get there soon. Hey, man, thanks. I'm just, I just need to concentrate first and get some content up there for y'all. <laughs> I mean, because yes. I'm like getting subs like crazy and, you know, I need to give back. Hey, Zach, my brother, what's happening, bro? Uh, will Mario promise to backflip at 200 subs? Nope. Nope. No, nope. absolutely not. Absolutely not. Not even no. into a pool? Nope. Oh. <laughs> nope. Well, I, mean, I can't, you know. yo, I can't, I can't compromise the well-being of my own health for that, bro. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fair so, enough. Fair enough. Maybe, maybe, maybe something else. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, Chris Elliott says, I gave one of my grunts a regular E11 to add some weapon yeah, diversity. Yeah, Shane did that here. It looks great. Yeah, I never even thought about that. Yeah. I had to do that because I wanted... I, didn't, I ran out of E22s, so <laughs> now I got to pick up some of those. <laughs> but I get these. You can get. I got these for like eight bucks. It was like a pack of four, so I think it was like thirty something bucks. Nice. And then, they said hot toys. I doubt it, but <laughs> no, of course not. I mean, <laughs> they, can they, you they do the job? How's the quality on them, man? As far as the materials and the paint apps. I mean, honestly, I mean they do the whole same little. Thing and they have all of the. I mean, even that little. I didn't even realize that did that. Do they feel like a, like? Oh look at that! Yeah, I didn't know that did that. Oh shit! <laughs> so yeah, they're pretty. They're pretty good. Does it feel? Well, it was a two. You can get two for sixteen ninety nine. So I bought two packs of two. Yeah. But that was off eBay. How oh, do yeah. they feel compared to the originals? Same. I mean, honestly, the plastic really? feels wow. the same to me. Yeah, like the plastic. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't feel like super flimsy. It may be this top part. It has this little thin little part where the scope mm-hmm. sits on. It's a little kind of soft, but yeah. I mean, unless you're really being a beast with it, shouldn't break on right. you. Man, that's something to consider, man. Thanks. I never really thought about that. So yeah, yeah thanks for the heads hey, up. Hey, Shane's on it, filled with all little nuggets of knowledge. I know, man. Uh, with hot brain, toys dude. and <laughs> customizing and. Oh man. Um, oh man. I'm gonna go hands free, Mario. So I'm gonna let you yeah. use the mouse on this. I'm gonna try to pose a little bit here. Go for it. So so Lane Kramer says, So guys, I'm thinking of doing some sort of kit bashing light. Um mailing it down. I got mailing out tomorrow, Jet Patrol TK, Troopers plus some orderings, the uh the blaster this week that I'm gonna put with the Imperial squad leader from the Mando. Sweet. Hell yeah. Um, Ran, would mean, you guys would you guys want an ACT AT driver from Rogue One? Yes, I do. Oh. Bro, I want everything. I want all the different variations of troopers from Rogue One, man. I'll take them all. Um yeah, H Green 1313 at 200 sub gives away that Vader. Maybe I might give away like a I don't know. A smaller one. A vintage one or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> At 200 subs, Mario gives away that Mickey Mouse. Damn, y'all just want to strip me of everything, don't you? They Freaking do. Vultures. <laughs> <laughs> Spider-Man to a backflip from Andres. Uh, Lane Creamer, HD 1313. Already called dibs on my Rogue One Vader. I did. I did, bro. Lane, get at me, brother. Get at me. Um, single songwriter, LOL, LOL uh, Mario will make uh, one of his hot toys backflips at 200 oh, subscribers. Is it possible? And I say, nope. <laughs> it ain't gonna <laughs> happen. It ain't gonna happen. That's being backflip at 2,000 or 1,000. Maybe at a million. When y'all get me to a million, then we'll consider Damn. that. Yeah. But, <laughs> man, you guys, are, you guys are asking too much, man, for too little. <laughs> <laughs> so uh lane kramer single songwriter uh when they get to three thousand subs i want aries versus mario backflip face off who can do the most <laughs> can you imagine we're not gonna get aries to freaking put himself in jeopardy like that come on guys i mean he is a black belt so huh? is it possible be, i don't know <laughs> <laughs> maybe he, <laughs> he's got some hot toys wizardry and uh rodolfo says anthony you're a great guy i've always enjoyed your insight and contribution to the community oh hey thank he you is very a much. great guy man you know I, we all on the weekdays 
<laughs> no, I, uh, no, I, I appreciate it, man. Everybody's been so supportive, man. Uh, it's been overwhelming and humbling. I tell you what, I don't know how to same sometimes, you yeah, know, convey that. Right. So, yeah, I, do no, I, I agree. I agree. One hundred percent, man. I mean, both you and I are, I don't know, I guess hitting milestones somewhat at the same time and I'm just getting started. You're getting at your thousand subs, man. And I'm right there with you, man. It's, it's, um, it's humbling to put in at the same time. You just don't it, know what to it say. It really is. And I appreciate it, each and every one of you. Yeah. Extremely grateful. Single songwriter also says that kit bashing can be fun. Right. Right. Shane. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. yeah. Knights of Rand at 200 subs. Mario gives away the hot toys Raiders indie. Wow. Yeah. Again, y'all are crazy. Uh, Andre's asking, has Shane got a channel? I really would like to watch some of his customizations in action. Yeah, no, I don't have it. I, I have a channel, but it's like, here's my hot toys. Like, and then it's like a two years ago. <laughs> but, hey, but hey, man, you got, you know, you got a, but, uh, you yeah. got a fan here. It's Weasel, I think it's Weasel's figures. I don't even know how to get it to is. it. You know, and look, I've been talking, I've been telling Shane forever, but he just doesn't have the time right now. But I was like, Shane, you need to do just record some stuff it doesn't even matter if you you don't even need to talk you just set your camera record some bits and pieces here and there when you do stuff send mm-hmm. me all the footage i'll edit it all up real nice we'll lay down a track voiceover later and boom you've got some awesome hey check right. out what yeah. i did episode you know what i mean you know what it is i start doing something and i'll start building whatever and this and that and then i get done and i go ah crap i should have took a picture <laughs> Of something or whatever. I, know. <laughs> like, I, don't yeah, know. I never I think about, about that stuff. Yeah, it's you the know. same here. When when Anthony and I are done posing up some of our figures here, we just throw them back in either either the box or just repose it. And like shit, never thought about taking a picture. I know. <laughs> I mean, like, look what yeah. I just did here. Um, I guess it's hard to see. He's teetering, but we're gonna let this rotate really quick, and you can see. Well, oh, that's not really quick. I'll, I'll just I'll hide myself <laughs> so that it focuses. Yeah, about now futures this, are saying, man, these troopers are looking good. Yeah, so now you're gonna see the squad leader right here as he's gonna start to rotate. Now notice the the wired comma, you know, his skirt and how I have him. He's gonna come around right now. You should be able to see what I'm talking about. How I got him in this kind of weird, windy, yeah, stance here. It's like you farted, bro. I know. I know it's it just ripped one. Yeah, it's completely um, ripped one, man. And the commas is going. But I love it. I, I love it. You can see it. it's a little dark, but you can kind of see like right around here. See how it's all winded out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love it. So, yeah, that's and that's right. the thing you have to you have to keep in mind when you're posing. When you're posing troopers, it's you have to kind of have that mindset that it's military. So, how would military personnel? you know, stand or what kind of formations they would have. And that's kind of where I get the inspiration when I want to do, uh, when I want to try to pose troopers. Young Obi says, yo, you got the cheat code to get Mafia to edit a video of you doing a backflip. He said, might even get signed up for a dizzy trip. <laughs> oh, we right. could do it. We could do yeah, it. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Well, yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm just saying you don't have to move. I'll just I know, edit I you, man. Oh, man. You got that deep fake, right? You know, we could do something like that. We could. We could. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Local Lou's in the house. What's popping, people? Kill uh, hermano. What's, what's up, up brother? Lou? Good to see you, Lou. Uh, dropping down a wepa. What up? <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> About Future says this kill Mafia, Marilyn Monroe style. Well, I wasn't thinking that, but now that you said it. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, you want to like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, I want to capitalize on the fact that he has a wired uh, skirt, you know, and the wired comma. So if it's wired, well, try to use that to your advantage, right? That's part of the figure. Right. That's a, Lane yeah. Say, Lane says that, man, are we trying to turn all the YouTubers into black backflip experts now? <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, that'd be funny, dude. Let's see all three of us do a backflip at the same time on the stream. Oh no, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, oh shit. You're gonna see something I'm pop, good. see something break. Yeah. No, nah, man. Nah, nah. No, my my cool. my whole YouTube thing would be over. My life would be over. Oh, it's now not that gonna I've work. Seen it, I can't see it. <laughs> That's hilarious, man. Mm-hmm. But 
but yeah, these troopers. Um, look, I'm glad. I'm glad that we actually got all three of these. I remember the grunt was actually teased. Um, I think on a Hong Kong showcase when Rogue One first came out. So it was originally part mm-hmm. of the of the Rogue One line, and it's great to see that it came out for the Mandalorian line. It's, it's awesome. Mm-hmm. And the squad leader was an absolute surprise, you know, to be honest. And when I saw it, I was like, oh, cool. We could just simply just cut off the uh, the comma, and we actually have the original short trooper. But then after looking into it a little bit more, you start to see the differences in the paint apps on the chest. Um, instead of that stripe going on the top, you see that it's all blue. And, and yeah, the blue and the yellow on the left gauntlet is missing, along with the, uh, with the pouches on the side. But... But yeah, they're all fantastic figures, man. They're all completely fun, and I love I love them to death. And they to have them all in the line, it's just it's great. It's great to see them. You know what I I'm noticing right now? I'll be what right I'm noticing right now, actually. The squad leader doesn't. There's this canister actually that's on the grunts. Hmm. So if you look at it, right back here behind the belt, you see this thing? Mm-hmm. It actually doesn't exist for the squad leader. No, yeah. yeah now, is that, that on the uh, captain? It is. Yeah, the captain does okay. have it. Here's the here's the original okay. captain right here, and it is there, as you can see. Huh. So, so it's yeah, it, man. It literally, is the same figure then? It is. It totally is. It's just the paint apps, but you've got this. You got the same thing that makes the working of the captain on the grunt. Yeah, there you go. looking right at it. Looking right at it, bro. So. Well, we'll just compare the back sides real quick on the both of these. So as you can see, uh, here's the yeah. here's the grunt, here's the captain, there's the belt, the little, little, little thing right here, little uh, little pouch, and yeah, right. man, the same pouch here. Now, is there is there a different? Uh, is it the same exact type? Even the build of it, the fabrication. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, the um, the the colors are actually a little bit different. It's kind of hard to see here. But this uh, this one is a little, a little lighter shade of brown. This one's a little bit darker. You can kind of see it now in the light. Yeah, I see it there. You can see it. So, but as far as the uh, the actual plates, the boots, the boots seem to be identical as well. It's just yeah. the pants are just different color, but but still, it's it's subtle. You yeah, know? yeah, it's really, yeah. Like it's really you were saying, subtle. the grunt the grunt has a bunch of stuff on his belt that the the others do not. So it is it is mm-hmm. a little different. But it's basically, you know, aside from that, it's basically the same figure as the uh, as the captain. You know, so yeah. for those of you that are actually <laughs> adventurous enough to pull off some of these mods, you know, have at it, have some fun. Anthony is flexing now. This guy, when isn't he flexing? That turntable, that nice. Oh shit! He brought in the Death Trooper. This freaking guy. I brought in a couple Death Troopers. <laughs> Oh, well, boy. I was like, you know what? Yeah. Let's go ahead and take a look. So, to mm. kind of go with it, that looks pretty cool, man. Together, it does. We got it two Death does, Troopers. Man. We got a Short Trooper Captain, Short Trooper Squad Leader, and a Short Trooper Grunt. I don't have any Storm Troopers, so you know, I was like, okay, let's throw in some Death Troopers. That's Rogue One, anyway. Anyway, that's kind of yeah. Kind of wanted to show that off. Really oh quick. shit! Look, now look at this guy coming in with the, with the standard short, uh, standard stormtrooper with the death trooper. Oh, Wait, Shane's Shane. grabbing some stuff. No, don't let me get some troopers now. Mm. Come on. Oh yeah. yeah no. That's actually a custom stormtrooper. Oh, of course it is. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> well, I I wanted troopers, and so I'm having a hard time finding some. So I was on. To anxiety, and they just broke down a Jetta Patrol Trooper, and someone had bought the chest plate with the backpack, so I bought all the rest of it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I think I, I think I used this chest plate from uh, that's a incinerator trooper chest plate that I sanded down and repainted. Hell yeah, mm. right. it looks great. Weathered them up and all that. Yeah, Adrian is uh, saying, Mario, I think we're going to get another version of the Andor series uh, where there's a behind-the-scenes photo of another variation of the Shore Trooper. Really? There is. And wow. I say yes. That would be I dope. do. <laughs> I think we are going to get more Troopers, man, of course. Look, everybody, so. has, everybody has their thing, whether it be Iron Man figures or it be Spider-Man figures. 
you know, I'm just, a lot of collectors are tired of seeing the same damn thing over and over again. But you know what? Bring on the bring on the troopers, man! Yeah. All day, every day, bring them all, bring them all, man! I'm all about it. Uh, Vic Fate is saying, uh, is there any figure that you guys own that sells for so much money on the aftermarket that you would actually consider selling yours, or did you end up selling? I did. <clears throat> oh, the quarter scale Dark Knight. Oh, yeah. At the time when the uh, Batman Begins version was yeah. announced, there was a lot of people going after that one. I remember that. So I got the I had the Dark Knight the second version, the mm -hmm. um, and I got them for I can't remember what was he for something or five hundred or something. And I ended up yeah. selling them for like twelve hundred bucks because I was like I can't pass Jeez. that up. Good thing you capitalized on that, considering they're actually reissuing it. <laughs> so that's a but this was years ago, right? Yeah, it, it's yeah. all about timing, and sometimes you if if you can part with a figure and you want to capitalize on it, do it. I mean, I I thought about selling off the Dark Side Anakin, but the thing is, is that I couldn't live with myself considering I have a hole in the collection that large. You know, since Star since Star Wars is my gig is my jam, I don't want to let anything go. Everything else right. I let go before the Star Wars collection for the most part. So I get that. I get that. I haven't I haven't sold anything uh in that sense that um that was really expensive. You know what I'm saying? That I was willing mm -hmm. to I've sold some figures, but they're usually because I don't really have an attachment to them anymore. You, you know what I'm saying? But I've never gotten rid yeah. of one that I that specifically I knew was a very expensive figure. Like for example, right. the the short trooper, like <clears throat> still here. Despite right. the fact that, you know, um, I was like, oh, well, look, last year they're like, we're getting two new short troopers. Like I could have, right? I could have sold mm -hmm. them and then could have paid for two figures. But right. then I was like, no, 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 no. I need to have all three of them. So, you know what I'm saying? Like it's not going to, uh, that didn't really work for me. Uh, Fig Face says, dude, do you have two specialists? I do not, man. Um, I do not. Well, I man. do. Yeah, Mario I does. <laughs> I have, uh, these, are, these are Mandalorian troopers little known fact um, but they work but they, they work they, they they completely work in the display yeah and this so. bigger gun um i forget the name of these damn guns but this big ass gun that this death trooper coming around the corner right now is holding actually mm. came from one of my um bandai six scale stormtrooper model kits oh nice so i gave it to him i was like Wouldn't, that works wouldn't even but, known yeah, yeah, man, Those that works. Wouldn't even know. That's awesome. Too. Yeah, they really are. Mm -hmm. They really are great background troopers. I like I said, I built one, and then that was it. I was like, ah, all right. But you can pick them up, build them. They're like fifty bucks. Spend a couple hours, put them together, and they do. All they right. look great for backgrounds. Uh, Knights Ren says, "There you go. Death troopers are my favorite." Yeah, good man. Uh, that setup looks great. Thank you. Uh, let's see what else we got in chat here. Uh, I don't know the question for the panel, but in my case, I don't sell nothing. I'm a completionist collector, and I started collecting in 2010. I enjoy seeing mm -hmm. my figures rise in value. Mm. Yeah, yeah, Rodolfo, that's where I'm at with the Star Wars collection, man. I mean, I have that mentality with three and three quarter. You know, you got to get them all. I have the same mentality along with the six scale as well, dude. So it's, it's crazy. Hell yeah. Uh, Graham, what's up, my friend? Jedi Knight's watch. He says, good afternoon, gents. Sweet poses right there. Thanks, man. You know, oh, I was yeah. watching you guys. I was watching your one-on-one -on -one a little bit. I got to finish it up, but that was um, yeah, that was pretty cool to see y'all. You know, just uh, just conversating. You know. Yeah, man, it was fun, man. It's fun talking about uh, Boba Fett and things like that, and you mm -hmm. know, just kind of a smaller, you know, yeah, it's fun. It's definitely fun. Um, was a young Obi says, which design do you guys like the best out of the troopers displayed? Out of these three. Design wise, I think the um, I honestly think the squad leader, you know, has it. it that comma just actually, in, in my opinion, just adds a little bit more depth to it. Yeah, you know, yeah. so it's it's really it looks really really cool, and the fact that it's still up for retail. I mean, if I you guys know are interested. That's you have a, a chance to pick it right up there. Yeah. Yep. Uh, about futures wondering what's the diameter of my turntable. Um. I'm gonna have to look my order up, man, because I don't know. But it's big. It's big. Like I have five what, figures on there, and um, what? What if it's decent enough to hold a statue? It is. I put my Ventress on here. 
I'm talking bigger ones, bro. Well, I'm I talking don't know third scale, like, half like scale, like a... and all that stuff. So yeah, um, uh, maybe, maybe. Because I might have to. I'm thinking. Of, I mean, my Batman's coming in later on this month, and I'm considering picking up a turntable to go with it. Something heavy duty, mm. and hopefully, I can find something that'll actually help um, turn it automatically. But yeah. Yeah, Jedi Knight's watch says I couldn't sell Dark Side Anakin. Yeah, I hear you, bro. Um, same here, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. I mean, thankfully, I'm in a place where I can hold on to it, but if I had to let it go, I, it would suck, but, you know, yeah. I have no problems doing it. Yeah, Fake Fate, I have to. I have the Mandalorian Death Trooper too. four of them. Wow. So I love them so much. It's the best-looking trooper for me. Yeah, that's cool, man. You know what I like about the Mandalorian trooper? I mean, compared to the... Um, the Rogue One, as far as the Death Troopers, is that they actually they lightened up the green in their eyes, so it stands out a little bit more. I don't know if you guys have uh, the original ones from the from Rogue One. Their eyes aren't as bright, um, but but no, I think I think they look good. So you don't have to like use the batteries to light them up, you know, for the eyes. Now that, so. ladies and gentlemen, is a preview commentary for our next <laughs> coming review, right? Because we're going to be doing these Death Troopers too. And we're going to mm-hmm. compare because, as you guys know, I, I have the Mandalorian Death Troopers and Mario has the Rogue One. You have the regular and the, uh, the specialist and the deluxe, correct? I need the regular one, actually. That's oh, the one so you that just I'm have missing. the. Which ones yeah. do you have then? I have the Mandalorian and the two specialists. The okay. standard specialist and the deluxe. Oh, so, okay. Oh, so you have a standard specialist and then a deluxe mm-hmm. for. Rogue and then the deluxe, okay. right. Right, right. Uh, Fig Fate. Now, if they're reissuing right. something, I don't have uh, I don't have them on on board with reissues, of course. Oh, then you're on board with it. Yeah, that's usually how it goes, <laughs> yeah. right? We're like, well, we yeah, don't like course. reissues unless we don't have it. Then we like it, right? Yeah, not a rent. I've got a five hundred first deluxe. Uh, that's the only trooper that I have, and all the rest are named characters. I'm getting I'm getting normal troopers, dude. That's fine. There is nothing wrong with that. That 501st Deluxe, I love that you, it has so many different display options. Oh, I mean, yeah. You got your 332nd, right. you can do a Phase 1, you know, Phase 2. And there's so many accessories, man. That was a that was one of the figures of the year, in my personal opinion. You know, last that year. was great. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Uh, Clink is asking, do you think that they'll make an Imperial TIE Fighter pilot? I really want that. I hope so. I really want that, too. Um, Sideshow did the Rogue One version of it, and I think it's... I think it's decently priced. I haven't checked lately, but I don't think that one is, you know, unobtainable. Yeah, it's it's good looking. It's a good looking figure, I think. Mm-hmm. How are the bodies yeah. on it, man? I mean, is it is it typical sideshow cheapy body, or is it or is it decent? Oh, on the the Tie Fighter pilot. The Tie Fighter eh, pilot, typical, yeah. Typical body. Be better. Yeah. 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 yeah single song. I had that have. one. I don't have that one anymore, but I used to. Way back, hmm. yeah. Uh, single songwriter, uh, have you subscribed to El Professor? You'll be glad you did. Here's a link to Mario Cortez's new channel. Hey, thanks, brother. Hell yeah! Oh man, you guys are awesome, man. Single songwriter is one of the, one of the best out there, dude. One of the best. Um, yeah, he also says single songwriter. I have a ton of I have a ton of love and addiction to the TK Troopers. I just can't stop or have enough. You're not the only one, bro. My brother, same here. I mean, I've got. I think I have them all off the top of my head. Yeah, I think. Well, I'll probably do. The VGM. Yeah, I actually need oh. the jump trooper from the um, from the uh, from the game Battlefront or what? From Battlefront. Yeah, but that's it. I just mm. saw that one. I think I'm Macari. Not too oh, really? ago. Yeah, I think that's where is I saw it. Is it decently it. priced or is it like kind of, uh, kind of up there? And they wanted. Four ninety five or five or something like that. Somewhere Ugh. close to there. It's it's still high. It's still high, yeah. yeah. It's, it's hard to justify for a trooper. I mean mm. typically to me, four hundred is my max. Yeah. To me, if if I have to go five, it's something I really, 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 really want. I mean, mm-hmm. can't do without type of thing to yeah. go that high. For one. <laughs> right. I know it's kind of a lot, right? Um Jay Night's Watch says, what's the panel's favorite style of trooper? I love the Shore Trooper, Scout Trooper, and of course, Return of the Jedi Stormtrooper. Classic. Uh, what about you, Shane? What, what do you think is yours? Oh, you have it, you already have it right here, huh? Well, I was kind of working on one, but yeah. This style. 
Any mm-hmm. of them, oh. honestly. I like the Return of the Jedi one that uh, <clears throat> Hot Toys is putting out for whenever. When is that coming out? Next year? Next year? I think uh, it's I like that one. this year. Um, I also like the I got the Rogue uh, Mando one over there, but kind of built that oh. one all on its own. <laughs> it's a it's a complete Hot Toy, but I bought it piece by piece. <laughs> I cheat. Yeah. No box. Same no here, stand. man. I've all, I've always liked the um, the scout trooper as well. That's probably my favorite design, and that's what I love about the short trooper too, because the I helmet know, right? is actually very reminiscent of that. Right. It's, um, it, it's a different take on that on that design, and it's it's great. I, the short trooper is another one. Um, the tank commander is another yeah. one too. You know, that's that's a really cool helmet too. I like that and one I, a lot. But as far as the TK troopers, I'm gonna go with the New Hope. I love the original versions of that. You know, so there to me, those are the actual the absolute classics over Return of the Jedi and Empire. That's tough for me, man. I, I think I'm gonna agree. I think we're all in agreement. Um, I, I, the Return of the Jedi troopers, obviously, um, scout troopers are great. Like that Mando scout trooper, I was really excited to get, and then they they pulled the veil over us, and we're like, well, here's Return of the Jedi coming. And I'm like, you son of a bitch. Shane is bringing trooper after trooper into oh, the show, shop, show him man. up, man. I, I don't have my mouse on me. You can full screen as this. Let's Bro, see. look at this guy. This guy. My man's flexing tonight. <laughs> <So> I love <laughs> to see it. Yeah. I, I love yeah. troopers. I do. I do love troopers. And the problem with them is, is you, for me, I can't just have one, kind of. Like, I only have one of him, and I want more, but now they're too expensive. But uh, yeah. to build and this one actually like sat around for a little while from that I remember. It, did too. This now the deluxe is the one that came with the the background light up thing, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. That's. I just so want. I have that with the Han that. Solo stormtrooper disguise. He came with the backlit Death Star panel. Right. 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 As well. Um, yeah. Chris Elliott was wondering though, Shane, is that repainted Mando scout trooper that you were showing? Which one? Your scout trooper. Oh, this one. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Well, mm, he's a little bit of everything. He's got. Uh, He's a Shane. This custom, is the old right? Comey, uh helmets. Remember, you can buy the six scale helmets that they had a little stand. At the time, it was more accurate than the sideshow one, so I used that. It's a sideshow chest, uh, Hot Toys shoulders and armor, sideshow midsection, Hot Toys knees, and then Hasbro boots until I get some good ones. So I got Hot Toys ones coming in for, for him, I think. So yeah. yeah. This guy, got... TD, my rule is that I buy two of every trooper except for the 501st clone troopers, which, which I have 12. <laughs> Damn. Go. Yo, my hat's off to you, bro. Dedication <laughs> I mean, that's awesome. right there. That Absolutely. Awesome, man. That must be a killer display Well, as well, man. I love Hell yeah, that. I bet it, it looks it, awesome. out there. Uh, Arc troopers and commandos. Oh. Are right. Dude, soul nightmare. You ain't kidding, it man. When it comes great. to clones... I love the art troopers, bro. The command, the commandos as well. They're like, yeah, yeah. That's some next level shit, in my opinion. Hell yeah. Um, most anticipated. yeah. What's more, yeah? Your most anticipated trooper? What's coming up? Actually, I, I, I mean, like right now for me for the near yeah. future, I gotta say it's the uh, the tank trooper commander. Yeah, the brown one. Hmm. Yeah. But for the long term, I'm going with the Jedi. Returning the Jedi scout trooper. With the speeder bike, yeah. yeah. I'm actually thinking. I'm actually thinking of getting that one along with the regular one as well. So I feel like I gotta have two of those. I was gonna get two of the Mandalorian ones, but I'm glad that I didn't. But I kind of do now. Now, now, now I'm see, I have. I, I, I have. I know you, if you guys can see it. The yeah. scout. I have one. I got the scout trooper and bike combo, right? And that's all I bought mm-hmm. for Mando. Um, yeah. And I think I'm good on that. I don't think I need an additional scout trooper as well. I think um, what's gonna happen for me. And I'm in agreement with you on that one, Mario. Long term, um, the Return of the Jedi Scout Trooper, and I'm at I'm at a position where I think I'm buying two of them, like two two right. bikes with two troopers. I think you need two. Yeah, mm. yeah. And while I want to put Luke and Leia on those bikes, yeah. Does I the, use the um... <laughs> you can, or, or or you can get the sideshow one. I mean. Yeah, yeah. I, I hear that one is junk though. I mean, you yeah, just look really at it, it falls apart. From yeah, I could, I could throw that Hasbro one across the house and it won't break. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks awesome. all right. <laughs> How crazy is that, man? I mean, we're talking about a twenty dollar bike that can like withstand something like that, but like a three hundred dollar bike. I mean, come on, it just falls apart. 
if you just try to right. set it up. That's crazy. Hell yeah. That's awesome. I, uh, Sam Short, just tuning in. Nice poses, gents. Thank you, sir. Hell yeah. Hey, thanks, thank for, for, thanks for stopping in. by, man. Always appreciate it. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, Knights of Ran says, uh, I can't I can't get any troopers. I just want to save money for the bigger name characters. Dude, no problem there, man. Absolutely. I, I no. get it. Yeah, man. Absolutely. <laughs> Shane was ready for the question. <laughs> he was. He's got all his troopers. I'm sure he's got like 19 troopers sitting right next to him that we can't see. Boom, Shane nah. is making me miss my setup, man. When I had the entire shelf just full of stormtroopers or just all the troopers I had oh. in that collection at the time. I mean, from one end to the other end, it was, and the Maji case is just filled with troopers, dude. And I was, I was like, why didn't I do that earlier, man? And I had to break it down just before I moved. I know when you I showed me those it. pictures, I was like, dude, they look sick. Isn't together. yeah, that's, that shit's tits, bro. They look sick it. together. Well, Knights yeah. Ren says he's currently selling his Mando Scout bike and speeder. Oh, good luck on the sale, brother. Hell yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, I get it. Like, it's if 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 you're in a position <clears> where named figures or head sculpt figures are more priority than absolutely um, right sure you know for me i don't know like you guys know there's just something like i mean I'm, I'm looking at this turntable right now and this shit looks way cooler to me than mm-hmm. like a named you, you know what i mean i don't know it's hard for me when i see troopers all together i'm like dude that looks so badass i got I the think name guys is, right over here i think also that when when we get something that's that's like not helmeted and it's an actual main character is that it's less it's it's less the what you call it it's less criticized considering you know do they how much how well do they do with the portrait you know is everything in proportion with the tailoring as where if you get a, hel- a helmeted figure i mean there's not much to complain about at all unless the fact that some may not move but it's damn near accurate <laughs> you know to what it is it's, it, they're more forgiving so hell yeah yeah um, and Green says that really looking to the forward to the R Trooper Jesse, I will probably display it um, if more with the helmet, but the sculpt on the tattoo looks sick. That's another one too. That's what's crazy is that these um, these clone troopers, how they come with the uh, with the sculpt, but at the same time their helmets are also amazing. So what do you do? <laughs> you know? I, know. I know it's really, and I don't even know the figure guys because I don't I don't I don't. Mm-hmm. I never really finished Clone Wars or any of that, right? So for me, I don't have a frame of reference, right? There's no kind of attachment there. But when I saw that figure, mm-hmm. that's like I felt the same. I felt the same, right? I was like, you know what? That fucking helmet looks awesome, but so does that head sculpt. And then you're like, right, dude, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, in the actual situations show, where you buy two, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, yeah, the, he actually has that tattoo you know in the show and all in but our trooper jesse is you know he he's somewhat of a i don't want to say a main character or a critical character but i mean he does he does have a critical spot i think within the last episode of the series mm-hmm. and so in which i feel like he's a must for sure so but yeah well maybe i'll feel yeah. differently um when i finish the show i say for now in, instead of trying to you know, grind through it the way that you are. I would say just check out the last what the last arc of the last season. You know, you don't. I don't think you need any um, previous context to it. You'll be able to watch it with general with a general understanding of what's going on. Um, yeah. You, you know, you know all the characters. You know who's there. But it's a really, really an amazing story, man. So I would, I would yeah. definitely recommend just checking that out at least. Hell, yeah. maybe we could do a watch party, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it'd be cool. We can. Yeah. We're doing a, you know, doing a Boba Fett, you know? Yeah, man. Sort of. You know, I'm doing like a live viewing anyway. But yeah, we could definitely, because I, I do want to finish it. I just, you know, it's, mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's hard for me to get into it, man, you know, to be honest. Mm-hmm. And then on top of it, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm always working on something, too. So I don't even have a lot of time for even shows mm-hmm. uh, that I do like. You, you know what I'm saying? Right. So it's it's just been a little, it's been a little tough. Uh, yeah, Clink says, watch the last four episodes of Clones. Yeah, so. Maybe I'll just do that, and then if I want to, you know, I can I can backtrack, you know, in that respect. Like, yeah, all right, let me check it out. Um, yeah, there there's some arcs that I think you should definitely check out, man. You know, if you're if you're not watching all of them, at least like certain arcs within the series that are definitely yeah, they, worth watching. Yeah. Okay, that story well, all in. And I, I know people said you can look online too, and there's kind of like a watch order if you wanted like key 
key uh, episodes to kind of like mm-hmm. streamline your your viewing experience, like watching like the critical episodes, basically like the the, the major ones. So maybe yeah. I'll look into a list and kind of do that as well, because uh, there's a lot, there's a lot there, yeah. and I'm like, oh, having a hard time. Um, Fig Fate's wondering, are you planning on doing watch parties again with Kenobi in May? Uh, dude, yeah, man. Look, I don't know if if people are enjoying it, then I'm gonna keep doing it. Uh, I started with the book of Boba Fett, and we've watched all six episodes so far live. Obviously, we're gonna watch the finale Wednesday live. If people enjoy that, then I'm just gonna keep doing it. We'll do it with Mando season three. You know, we'll do. We'll just just keep doing it, man. If people like doing it, I don't mind doing it. I don't mind. Um, not cause that's the thing. I don't watch it. That's I'm literally watching it right now with you guys, you know, at the same, like, so, and then maybe later I'll sit down, you know, on the, on the couch and actually put it on the TV and mm. rewatch it. But the first time I'm watching it is with everybody here. Yeah. He, he really is guys. Cause I mean, the, for the last episode of the, of, I was going to say the Mandalorian, the book of Boba Fett, I asked him, Hey man, if you're going to be up late at night, dude, let's just have a watch party. Two of us just watch it together. He's like, nah, man. First of all, I'm not trying to stay up that late. And second of all, he feels like he needs to watch it with all of y'all out there too. So for the first time, so, so yeah, he's, re- he's actually, you know, waiting for it the yeah. next day. I really am. Cause otherwise I would. Right. And then you like, but I was like, no, I want to just see it raw. You know what I mean? But the last episode, bro, you really going to want to, because you said, you said you woke up to a lot of messages that were like, bro, dude, oh my gosh, did you see this? And it's, it's it's to the point to where you wake up, you have to stay off the net, like right away. You I, I just won't even get on the internet. internet. Yeah, you can't get on online at all, man. So. No, I'm just gonna get it all set up on my computer in Streamyards and get my thumbnail ready and get it all good. Mm-hmm. And then when I wake up, and it's the only page I'm gonna open, and then I'll just go. <laughs> so I won't look at anybody. I'm not gonna check messages. I'm not gonna go on Facebook. I'm not yeah. even gonna open YouTube. I don't have to open YouTube to go live. So I won't, because the thumbnails or somebody will spoil it. So I just will. Yeah, I'm just gonna go in, um, just go in just like that. JC is asking, "What Vader is that holding his helmet? That's an awesome looking Vader. That's the Hot Toys quarter scale. Yeah, that's actually the Hot Toys quarter scale uh, Vader. So what I basically did was I took inspiration from the existing Mythos uh, statue that's out there that I would love to have in the collection, but I don't want to pay like twelve hundred, fifteen hundred plus for it right now, or close to two grand or whatever it's going for. So I was like, you know what? I want to go ahead and see if the uh, if I could pull off that same pose with the Hot Toys version, and lo and behold, it's all there. I mean, you, the the face mask is there. You put the dome on top of it, and you know, you get to display that beautiful Anakin head sculpt, and it, and it's great. And what's awesome is, you know, fun fact is that that's where this show actually spawned off of. Anthony and I were just posing on New Year's Eve. Uh, we we're just posing this thing just randomly. And we're like, shit, this thing could have been like a, we, we could have live streamed this actually. And, you know, next thing you know, hey man, let's get the show going. So, you know, it all a few weeks later, here, here we are. Here we are. Like, yeah, man. You know, so, cause mine's up there. I know, I don't think you can see him, but I, I, I we, we both posed him the same way, slightly different. Yeah. The only difference is like, I have his, uh, his left hand kind of like holding the belt, you know, like his hands relaxed in his belt but then still mm-hmm. holding the helmet. And that's that's really where it came from. Uh, we were doing that, and we were like, you know, these are old figures. Granted, this is a quarter scale, but it just kind of happened organically, and it was. It was cool. It was New Year's Eve, so then the next day was New Year's Day, which happened to be that Saturday, and that's when we started our first uh, episode. And uh, yeah. actually, also little known fact, my quarter scale Vader I got from Shane. Oh, <laughs> nice. Yep. That used Look to be at that. Shane's. Yeah. This- this episode has come full circle, sort of. There <laughs> you know, you go. Have to see it. It really has. <laughs> it really has. That's a great figure. Oh, yeah. It is amazing. Yeah, it's really really cool, man. Yeah. I mean, I've got, I've got the core scale sideshow coming in the, um, that premium format along with the new mythos that they announced coming in. So, when it comes to Vader, I can have multiples, man, and not it. It won't affect me because well, I feel I, like I'm I starting to feel more. that way now. <laughs> but I didn't yeah. then and I should have took Shane's Rogue One Vader because I didn't of course we didn't know we were going to be doing this shit either and I'm like you know I have a True. whole shelf down there that's Rogue mm-hmm. One and I should have had that damn Vader Shane you should have just so, sent it to me I know. but like you owe me this. money bro uh, you got a nice <laughs> watch Shane have another quarter scale figure that he would like to gift 
<laughs> no, this wasn't a gift. This wasn't a gift. Uh, I, I, let's preface that. I purchased that from Shane. No, we traded for something. Uh, we, traded, Mando. we did something. Maybe Mando and something. I don't even remember. Maybe. Yeah, I, I think, think we so. did. I think, but either way, it was not. Yeah. No one's just gifting the, away quarter scales. I wish. Um, <laughs> it's by far the best Vader that Hot Toys has put out. Oh, yeah. I, I 100% agree. Um, Real quick, through... um, subscriber update, we're at 196. We're at four away from 200, man. Okay, well, we're going to hit Damn. that before the end of this wow. show. So let me great. look through chat as well. It says, Andre says, this time slot for review is perfect for me in the UK. Love That's the watch awesome. longs, too. Dude, Hell Andre, yeah. I'm so glad that you can watch along with us, man, that the time works out. That's yeah. great. Uh, and that's what's great about us. I mean, I'm, usually, as you guys know, we do them on Saturdays. But maybe we'll do Sundays. I don't know. I don't know. If Shane would ever like to come back on, I know, Shane, you're off on Sundays. So maybe we can we'll, – we'll, 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 we'll see. We'll either do Saturdays or Sundays, whatever works. But uh, how about – you know what? Can we ask everybody here while we're, you know, while we're here? Ask everyone in the chat. What do you guys, what do you guys think? Does Saturday work for y'all? Does Sunday work better for y'all? I mean, I mean, does it matter either way? I'm just, I'm just curious. I'm just curious to hear everyone's thoughts about that. So, Let's so let do, us know in the chat. Here, let me put up a poll. Yeah, I'm going to put up a poll. I'm going to try <laughs> to put up a poll without knocking everything over here, guys, because my or keyboard. Up, or put up a third is, option that says, you know, either either day is fine or whatever. So, Well, this is what I'm going to do. Oh, third option. What are you going to do? What are you going to do, Andy? <laughs> All right, hold on. Wednesday. Mm. Yeah, I'm looking at this. Yeah, uh, man. Scott Trooper, he does look badass. The Return of the Jedi. <clears throat> uh, real quick says that I'm so I'm so mad at myself for missing out on the quarter scale of Vader. My favorite character by far. I was thinking about it, and it went to wait list before I had the money. Um, you can yeah, get a chance they, to get that. Yeah, listen, I, I don't want to cut you off before I forget. So, yeah. and I'll let you continue. I'm sorry. So I put in a poll. The poll says Saturdays or Sundays, and it's kind of a yes or no thing. So yes for Saturdays. No for Sundays. Okay, guys, answer the poll in the chat. Again, yes for Saturdays and hit no for Sundays. That way we know. And Anyway, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Mario. Yeah, no, just telling Fake Faith that Vader's like absolutely one of my favorite characters. Man. Actually, probably my favorite character in the Star Wars universe amongst probably anything, any franchise. I think Vader's my number one guy. So when I saw it, I had to have it, man. So I jumped on it basically day one. Mm. So. Yeah, no regrets, man. Uh, Chris Elliott says, you guys need to uh, do collection video tours as press stuff, fellas. Yeah, Chris, I'm actually working on a collection tour right now as far as the collection in its current setup um, because I mentioned earlier I've got my separate set of Magi case, my second set of Magi cases that I need to go up, uh, build. So what you guys see right here, all the stuff in the background right here, this will all be gone. It'll be covered in Magi cases, and it'll be all Star Wars. So by the time I'm done with that, I'm definitely going to do a part two of a, of a collection tour with all Star Wars. So on my channel, so stay tuned for that. Uh, Chris Elliott says, I think that Cisco Mafia recently posted a collection tour to his channel. He did. I did. He did, actually. Yeah, I did. With some, I did. He put some stink on it, too, man, with that production, dude. That was nice. Thank that you. That was nice. I, I, I did, yeah. I recently did do a collection tour. It's just the Star Wars portion of it, but uh, it is uh, – you know, it took me a long time because I put in the names and the the MMSs for every figure as I went through them. So there's a lot of yeah, a lot of production into it. Uh, just some music. I didn't speak at all. I just threw some tunes on there to kick back and like check out everything. Um, I'll probably do another one a little bit later. But for now, I was like, you know, people been wanting to see like, you know, what's what do you got all? You know, what is all this? And I'm like, well, let me mm -hmm. throw one up. It happened to be the end of the year, so I was like, eh, whatever. Let's just do it. Let's do a New Year's kind of tour and. Uh, yeah, you know, kind of go from there. Um, I can't read Mario. Yeah, Tudorfo says that I just posted my Kylo in eight Stormtrooper shelves on Six Scale Mafia's Facebook page. Need you to, to work on my posing, bro. That's in I need eight to check that out right now. Yo, let's yeah, let's go take a look at it. I'm curious, is it uh, eight first order troopers? Are we talking original trilogy troopers? Can you or? can you go to the group and share it? Uh, share the screen, yeah. Mario. Yeah, for sure, bro. Let me check it out. Yeah, let's take a peek here. I like I that. I do apologize. We are trying to catch up with chat as well. Appreciate everybody here. Knights of Rand's got the Rogue One Vader coming in really soon. 
Oh yeah, dude. I'm so jealous. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Yeah, that's good. Um, yeah, Rodolfo says hopefully that we are uh, we are finally going to get casting and or figure being myself Mexican. Hell yeah, hermano! Because I always wanted this figure to be done, bro. Yeah, man, I'd love to see like that type of diversity, man. Especially right now with current Star Wars in, in its current iteration, how we're getting diversity from all kinds of different ethnic backgrounds, dude. I freaking love it. And hell yeah, to have that Latino representation, bro, from either um the mandalorian man pedro pascal that's that's awesome to have too man i mean we're like hell yeah dude we got a um, latino representative on the shelf with, with a with a big name character like that um six scale separator says what uh what hot toys or six scale are you hopefully are you waiting to ship soon uh if any i'm on i'm waiting on the sideshow general grievous i'm supposed to have him to ship this month i don't really have anything yet i got I got Monday tomorrow, the Stormtrooper Commander. I think they changed him to squad le- squad leader. Yeah, yeah. The one, they changed the name on him. They did it, on Sideshow. It still says uh, <clears throat> squad uh, commander, but the box I guess says squad leader. <laughs> Whatever. But yeah, he comes in tomorrow, so that's what I'm waiting on. I'm excited. Got a little spot on the shelf for him. Here we go with all the First Order Troopers, along with um, Captain Phasma, man. I mean, say what you will about these First Order Troopers, man, but when you see every, everything set up like this, this shelf pops, in my opinion. They're right? all different. They're all different Troopers, man, and I freaking I love it. I love it, man. Alex Badass. And that is, as he mentioned, in my Facebook group. So if you guys haven't came, come check it out, man. It's, uh, you know, Six Scale Mafia on Facebook. Again, remember, it's six. It's not sixth. Everybody gets tripped out because everybody's name is like S-I-X-T-H. I do not have a T-H in my name. I stand I stand alone. <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? People, I know a lot of people can't find my stuff, but there it is right there. Perfect. Thank you, Mario. Six scale mafia. Come check it out, man. No drama, no bullshit. We all have fun here. Come post your collection photos and, uh, you know, just chat, man. It's fun, man. It's fun. Um, Jedi Night's Watch is asking you, though, uh, Mario, what type of Maji cases did you get? Six scale or DF? Huh? What? I'm I'm caught up in these pictures, man. Look at, look at this. Oh, I, <laughs> uh, he, he was wondering what kind of Maji cases do you have? I have, uh, they're six scale actually. These ones for the six scale collection, they're six scale. I've got two 165, well, actually now six 165s and two 698s. So that's a total of uh, six cases that I've got sitting here, in which three I still got to put together. I just got yeah, an email from Sideshows delaying my magic cases that I have through them. So, ah, oh, bummer. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's unfortunate. Um, I was going to get them from Sideshow, actually, and then I canceled. I don't know. I don't know. It's because I built my shelves. I think eventually I will get some Maji cases, but and that's mm-hmm. the other thing. I know a lot of people have been asking me, too, about my display, so I think I'm going to do a video on that, too, uh, for the channel and let people know, like, this is like, what is your display? How do you do? And I was like, well, it's all custom. You know, put it together. So I think if people are interested in that, uh, I'll go ahead and put a video up on the channel uh, when I have some time, you know, kind of break down like how I, uh, what, how I built them, what they're all about, things like that. So that'll be fun. Right. We're very dis- divisive in the poll, by the way. Um, 45% say Saturdays, 55% say Sundays. Okay. So I guess we'll, we'll see. We'll see how we go. We'll see how we go with that one. Um, yeah, we got a lot of funny stuff, man, on my Facebook, man. People post all sorts of shit, but it's all fun. And, you know, if you have collection, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be six scale, you know, hot toys, whatever, third party statues, whatever, NECAs. It's just a fun place for everybody to kind of, you know, show off their, you know, their collections or ask questions for the community to, you know, help answer. You know, Shane, of course, is a member. He's, a, he's one of our admins there and Mario's always there as well. So if you guys, yeah, come check it out, man. It's fun. It's fun over there. Uh, the, you know, I'm trying to post more myself, but uh, usually I'll throw photos on my Instagram and then I try to remember to throw them in the group as well. Um, H Green said, Anthony, I just posted some of my latest hot toy photos. Awesome, dude. I will check that out. Um, 
I will definitely check that out here shortly. Ooh, um, when I can as well. I have it right. Y'all, hey, I'll bring it up. You got it. You got it right there. All right. I got it right here. Yeah, I'm, st- I'm still, I'm still hanging out in the group. <laughs> So, look at oh, this. nice shot! Nice photography man. there. Yeah, look at this. That looks sick. I like that saber in the back there. Hell yeah, man! Those are great shots. Ooh, I like that. <sighs> oh come on, bro! You know that's not gonna happen. That's that's reversed. That should be reversed. You're not gonna <laughs> say a TK take down a clone. I love it. I love the shot, <laughs> there, man. And here the short troopers. Beautiful. There you go. They look great, H Green. That's awesome. Thanks for That's sharing, great man. Pictures. That's how I got my armor posed. <laughs> That's Just awesome. Like that. Yeah, I need some inspiration for the armor too because it's so the figure is so minimal, you know. So I really need some inspiration for some decent poses for the armor. Hell yeah, those are great looking shots, man. Uh, everybody's just, yeah, hire this guy for some final proto picks. So yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> for sure. that looks great. Yeah, guys, come, come join the Facebook group. Let's do that. Let's come. You know what? What are we at even over there? We um, are at, we are currently 178, at 178 members. members. Well, yes, sir. And if you guys are into the Facebook, come in, man. Let's see if we can, let's do that. Let's see if we can get 200 in the Facebook. Um, I'll actually post a link. So let's do that. Let's do that, guys, because that's really cool, man. I'd love I'd love to have more people uh, engaged, you know, aside from in the chat community, like just behind the scenes during the groups. Uh, you guys go ahead and if you want, of course, come join the group. And at the same time, it's a, it's a double 200, right? It's a double 200 because Mario as well is at 196 um, so subscribers. So I'm gonna put a link for both of us. Let's see if we can get. I know, I know, Mario, you're gonna hit 200. <laughs> you're gonna hit 200 right now in like less Yo. than a minute. Um, oh, man. But let's also so let's get Mario to 200 and let's get 200 in the Facebook group. Can we do that, guys? That would be awesome. Um, I'm approving people right now. I'm seeing a lot of. Um, oh yeah, here we go. Here we go, guys. So we're dual wielding here. Let's see what we got. We've got. I'm checking too. 183 members in the Facebook group now. Wow. Mario's at 197. Am I 197? I still yeah, 197, 196. sir. At least oh, on my man. screen. Okay, I see it now. Jedi 198 on Mario. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, We're wow. going to get Mario. Mario, you're going to get to 200, brother. Um, yep. We're at 183 in the Facebook group. That's fine. If we can get to 200, great. If not, totally understand. I mean, Facebook's kind of iffy anyway. I know a lot of people don't like partaking on Facebook in general. But if you come check us out, Shane's posting all his custom stuff there. You see his CCFL sabers, his custom OB1s, his custom troopers. Lots of cool shit over there um, in our group. So really, again, come check us out. Mario, you're sitting at 198. Sorry, Shane. <laughs> uh, so hit me up anytime if you have any questions or any of that stuff on there. I'm always checking them out. So, you know, if you have anything about customizing or anything like that, just let me know. Hell I help yeah. best my ability. That's what he does, man. Shane is the helper, man. Uh, you, you've helped me a bunch as well. I mean, dude, really. So it's hella fun, guys. Uh, let's say, let's say, let, 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 okay, 30 more seconds, guys. 30 more seconds. Um, we are at. Let's take a look here. Facebook group is 184 members. Awesome, dude. Awesome. 16 more on the Facebook group to get to 200. Mario El Professoro, he is at 198 subscribers. Let's see if we can do it. Can we do it, guys? Is there two people watching right now that are not subscribed to Mario? Link in the channel and the chat. I just posted it again. Can we get Mario to 200? Mario's at 199. Oh, one person. Shit. Oh, shit. One, one person. One more. One more. One more. <clears throat> you guys are amazing. All y'all one are so awesome, man. Can we do it? Can we do it? Here. Can in the we meantime, do it? Meantime, Six Gill Mafia, we're still at 184 in the group. We are. We're at 184. 184 on Facebook. 
which is awesome, guys. I really appreciate that. <laughs> 200. Mario, 200. We hit it. We hit it, man. Thank you all. Hey, thank you guys so much, man. It's crazy, you guys. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, I'm God, I hope I don't let you guys down. <laughs> I really don't. Oh, yeah. But, the pressure's on now, yeah. bro. The pressure hey, is guys. on. Y'all, y'all, y'all going to put me to work. <laughs> so, hey, for reals, man. Thank you, everybody on the chat. Thank you, Mafia. Thank you, Shane, man, for coming through, dude. It was awesome to see you. And um, yeah, 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 man. I'm so everyone, glad. everyone out there that's have my back right now, dude. It's truly, truly, truly appreciate it, man. Just like, yo. Well, <laughs> well, listen, think, Mario. Everybody enough. Um, before we before we wrap, because I am going to ask everybody, but what is your final thoughts on the actual original Shore Trooper? Because that's what our main Rogue mm-hmm. One line is. Okay, so given the hang on. Got something going on in the background. Let me ask Shane real quick if you don't. Oh no, he doesn't have it. Shane doesn't have it. No, so, I don't have that one. You, you go ahead thoughts? and go, but I got a situation going on right now. Take care of your situation. I will I will give you my hair. I'm gonna full screen myself. Mwah. What's up, guys? Six scale mafia here. <laughs> uh yeah, listen. Uh the original Shore Trooper is amazing. Um, if you missed out on him, I'm I'm deeply sorry. Um, he is running for five to six hundred dollars. I don't know if that's that's up to you that's up to you if you want to try to get him and you're comfortable with that price point or if you can haggle somebody down a wee bit um and it's you know if it's within your budget then absolutely uh he's a he's an awesome figure now if you're not a completionist then don't don't worry about it because in comparison to the squad leader or even the grunt they're basically the same figure right they're basically the same figure they don't come with anything different. They all come with the same gun, and they all come with the same set of hands. They're literally the same figure. The only difference is, is some of the paint apps are different and the weathering's different, right? So, again, if you're not a completionist, don't bother. If you want to get them, though, I mean, he is a – they're all the same. They really are all the same. That's that's kind of – that's a unique position right here, right? Because other figures, you know, obviously are different, but these troopers really are, like, the same. So if you don't feel like you need to have it, I wouldn't I wouldn't try to chase it. Um again, if you are a completionist though, then yeah, maybe. Maybe if that makes sense. Um you back, Mario? I am back. Um Okay. Your turn, Mario. Yeah, friend. bro. I definitely have to echo some of your thoughts. Um straight up first of all, straight off the bat, if you really don't need it or if you're not a completionist, then, you know, don't bother. You have you have the two that are at retail right now that'll that work perfectly for it um, because the differences are very subtle in my opinion. Where it basically the, I don't think it warrants six hundred to uh, five hundred six hundred dollar price tag that it's going right now. Although you can, if you do want it, wait for a deal because you can. It will come up six zero. Thank you guys. <laughs> thank you guys, man. Yeah, two hundred. They're part of the made mob, right? <laughs> Single song right here. Thanks, brother. <laughs> hell yeah <laughs> but yeah the, look this was um considering what a first drop for for 205 back in the day it's an absolutely amazing deal and um yeah it's great um i'm not a fan of the fact that it comes with the only accessories we're getting our hands i think it would have been nice to see some extra um some extra weapons possibly um, but I can't be mad at that because that's all we saw in the movie, right? We just saw this mm-hmm. this particular figure with just the uh, with just his one rifle, and that's it. So we really couldn't consider what else he can actually he can come with. Maybe I don't know, maybe a diorama base like Chura did. I mean, that probably would have been cool. Um, but still, at the original price tag at two hundred five, you know, you can't be upset about it. The um, but yeah, the articulation is great. You can get him to do damn near anything you want. He twists and turns, bend in the torso is just fine. The um, but yeah, the paint ups are phenomenal. I love the wear that's on this thing, um, the weathering that's on here. It looks fantastic, and the fact that it's actually it's different from all the other troopers that are out there. First of all, considering the shade of what is it, kind of like a kind of like a yellowish kind of kind of a uh, kind yeah. of hue to it, along with all the weathering on top of it, and the different markings that are on this thing that shows you know that are showing his stripes and his ranking and stuff like that. It's amazing. It's really really cool. Um. But yeah, I really, I really like the figure overall. I mean, when I got it, I got a decent deal. I, I paid basically what I was willing to pay for it. You know, um, shout out to Chris Letty over there, Six Scale Scavengers, my dude, uh, for hooking me up with this. And, and yeah, 
it's a cool figure, but definitely not worth what it's asking for right now. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I would agree with that. I would agree. Uh, I know Shane, you don't have him. Absolutely. But <laughs> where, where is your position on that? I mean, um, you know, you're absolutely right. If you love this design of the trooper, there's two out there now that can satisfy that. You really like Mario says have to be a completionist or whatever to have to have it, I guess. Um, I'd like to have it, but I don't know. I'd, I'd, I'd be happy with just these. Uh, I do a lot of customizing, so it's hard for me because because I'll, I'll make a completely different one than all three of them, you know. Right. But just to have that variety to make it, you know, kind of get that army, you know, look to it when no trooper actually looks exactly the same you know what i'm saying yeah. um except from stormtroopers they do but um you know that i think that if you were to get them if you can get them at a good price sub sub four 450 uh maybe but other than that i think they have plenty for you to choose from now without going broke over it yeah, agreed. Especially this year, you know, and I did a stream on that like last week about it. It was like the year of the trooper, right? I mean, we're getting so many troopers right now that you that you know, Shane's right. You you don't necessarily have to go get it. I mean, these other two shore troopers in particular are great alternatives. Right. Like hundred percent. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, in my opinion, you can go ahead and pick up the grunt and a squad leader, especially right now that they're on that they're at retail and not necessarily need the captain you know if you can have either one of these on the shelf as representation for an actual stormtrooper man i mean you're, you're good to go you know right. now's your chance to actually get them at retail so the, the captain is not actually a necessity but you know you can right. if you want to if you're if you're waiting if you're if you're patient enough to wait for a deal you know by all means if you can if you can swing it but yeah. as of now if you're if you need to be selective then either one of these will suffice in the collection um, Rodolfo, very happy for Mario. Uh, this community is great, and I feel uh, very lonely back in 2010 when I first started collecting the Hot Toys. Yeah, man, the community is, its everyone is awesome. I mean, it's so its so different now than what it was, I think, a couple of years ago as well. Oh, so absolutely. I am, really, I am really, really grateful to everyone that's out there for, um, for, for, for being so positive and just for being, all of us are, pretty much all like-minded when it comes to collecting and 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 yeah it's it's great you know no one's really beefing with anybody or no one's you know there's 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 very little drama in this community you know compared to what it was a couple of years ago so i am i'm extremely grateful for everybody right now 100 percent. i'm i i have to follow up on that because that's that's exactly what it is man i mean with me just you know, getting to the thousand subscribers, I mean, the the community and the support from everybody has been has been overwhelming, like uh, po positive, you, you know, positively overwhelming. It's it's just been such a, a fun time and to be able to do this and share with everybody and the continued support coming from everybody in the community has just been. It's humbling, man. It really is. It really is. And it's fun that we all have a way to connect with one another and, and share our journeys together and experience. It's just, it's, it's great, man. It's absolutely great guys. Um, so everybody, thank you again. Um, you know, Shane also, man, I'm so glad you were able to come on, bro. It's so cool that we could talk. I'm glad, I had to clean my desk. Hey, that's okay. <laughs> that is, that is okay, man. Um, like I said, it doesn't matter, bro. We're all, we're all collectors, man. And it's, it's just so much fun. Uh, I will say a couple of quick things before we wrap is that because I actually have to go myself. I'm going to be on Lales over on one six scale man's in like 20 minutes. Uh, first time over there for this particular show. It says take your position. So I've never been on his take your position oh. show. That'll be fun. I guess they're doing a Marvel versus DC kind of posing thing. So that'll be fun considering I don't have any DC figures and I forgot to ask yeah. Sean to let me borrow his Superman um <laughs> word, word of advice if i may don't go on their flexing man because they will call you out everybody does get extremely jealous when you have figures that they don't and oh, i'm just gonna leave this and shit here and go go yeah, jump and they the won't stream. let you yeah they won't let it go man so <laughs> they never I mean, let John, it go I, Leo, I love you guys but you know yes you flex. it's 100 percent. <laughs> so uh chris elliott says love your custom shane very nice Thanks, man. appreciate it 
Hell yeah. Uh, started collecting about two years ago, and it's a great community to be a part of. Thank you, Jerry. Yeah, we Absolutely really try true. our hardest. Um, we really do. Uh, but next week, though, next week, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if we're doing Saturday. I don't know if we're doing Sunday. We're going to find out. Obviously, we'll let you guys know. But next week, Jen Erso. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know what? Real quick, just consider next Sunday is Super Bowl Sunday. So, Is it? Mm. It is. It is. So I think Shit. we're looking so at we'll, a Saturday, bro. I think we're looking at a Saturday then. Yeah. Yeah. So next Saturday, <laughs> um, well, we'll do Jen Urso. Now that's another interesting figure as well, because I only have Jen Urso and Mario has Jen Urso deluxe. So we're going to do yeah. both of them so that we can compare the differences yeah, cool. between the two. Yeah. So I think that'll be really fun. So if you guys are interested in that, we'll do that next Saturday. And then after that, I don't know. I don't know. I don't have any you other got, Rogue One figures. You got these Death Troopers, bro. Wait. I mean. Yeah, we're going to do Death Troopers too, I guess. Yeah, that's right. So. But after that, who yeah. knows? Who knows if we're going to do just solo, you know, Mario can show <clears throat> off some of the remaining Rogue Ones. Or if if uh, we just jump right into Ro- uh, uh, A New Hope. I don't know. Let us let us know, guys. I mean, I've got more uh, Rogue One Stormtroopers to uh, to show you guys if you guys are interested. And um, but that Anthony doesn't, so it's going to be you know may, me showing off the figures if you guys are interested in that. And Anthony basically giving commentary and asking questions. So if you guys are interested, let us know because we can still finish up this Rogue One line for the most part. Yeah, we can yeah, still for the most like part. A we definitely can. The ones, those troopers, right? I'm sorry. What's that? It'd be cool if you did like a showcase of like the remaining troopers. You know what I mean? Kind of show them all. Wrap up, like wrap them all up in a single episode. Yeah, because if if Anthony doesn't have them, kind of do a commentary. I totally do a could. Whole, hey, that'd be cool. That's yeah. A good my idea. goal. You know what? If I can get these modifications up in time, I've got no problem. They'll be coming here anyway. I've got no problem with that. So oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's a good idea, man. Um, Pokey says I've been trying to figure uh, I've been trying to figure out you know where to display my four short troopers Mando or Rogue One I don't know man uh, I've been thinking about using my square or, or my spare squad leader body and having one of each uh, for the new ones on display I think um, four short troopers Mando or Rogue One <clears throat> right they can fit either in either one and I think they'll they'll fit yeah. on the Mando shelf. I mean, if you don't have much of the Rogue One uh, other figures, it's kind of hard to display with that. But I think that put them with the troopers, man. Just put them all together. Who cares what shelf they're on, man? Hey, all right. on I've own. seen Mario's. Yeah, who cares? You're going to see Mario again because you're going back. You're going back to yeah. the trooper shelf. And I trust me, guys, <laughs> I've seen Mario's trooper collection in a Maja case, and it is, it is just it is a, a sight a, to a, behold. It is a sight to behold. Right. Exactly. Exactly. You took the words literally right out of my mouth. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> Uh, it it really is. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, Thanks, can't wait to see your Magic Case setup. So we're going to see, guys. Um, anyway, I think we're going to be wrapping. Real quick, H Screen just says I need to figure out what I need to do to make a custom Bim Bum Stormtrooper. Well, join the Facebook group and ask Shane because I'm sure Shane will give you some insight. Yeah, I can look into that. That'd be yeah. kind of neat to do. I think so. Yeah. So once again, guys, everybody here tuning in. Thank you so much for the support. Um, next Saturday, I will be doing, you know, I do my live stream Saturday nights, but next Saturday is going to be a fun stream because that's the stream we're going to be doing the IG-11 giveaway. So oh yeah, that'll be really fun. If you guys haven't already subscribed, please do so. Check the video out on my channel that talks about the IG-11 giveaway. And make sure you follow, uh, you know, what I said in there is just basically like the like that video, comment that video, and 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 stay tuned. Attend the stream Saturday night. If you cannot make it Saturday night, shoot me a message. Let me know. Um, but I'm mostly trying to give away, you know, while someone's there. But if you can't make it, let me know. That way I know, you know, it's not just a random a random person out there. Um, so it's, it's going to be fun, guys. We're going to have a cool panel. We're going to have lots of laughs. And then we're going to give away that IG-11 to one random person of the channel. Um, until then, you guys, you thank you always for tuning in, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Easy, guys.
Liftoff.